Hey guys, so you guys haven't heard from me for about a week or more. I thought I was going to be doing a video last week for dancing, but I ended up uh, chucking it because it just didn't seem right. Oh, if you see all these bruises and scratches, uh, well, besides work with the normal bruising that I get because of I'm a klutz sometimes, um, I'm doing, I've been doing yard work since yesterday um, for like a couple of hours and I'm doing some today. And, um, well... As of this week, I'm actually down up to five days for four hours for of my one job. And then, of course, I still do the other job for two hours every Friday. So, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday was is the double day. And then Saturday and Sunday, I am working. And actually, I wasn't feeling well last Friday. and So, I actually had to make up those hours for my fr morning Friday job. Because I can never really... As of right now, I can't really request off unless I'm like dying of pneumonia or something because right now we're very understaffed and I mean I wouldn't usually relay this kind of information online but it, well I gotta give a reason if I really want to I know I don't have to but I want to so I actually was wor worked mon Monday morning for two hours and then I did yard work yesterday and I went to work and then I'm doing yard work today as well as doing I just got the water half of my laundry done for my uniforms and then I'm going to work today for four hours and yesterday oh my gosh I am just so tired of people not either not showing up one person I know it was because of misunderstanding but the other person's like I have no idea the thing is because we're understaffed somewhat understaffed right now we have we're every, a lot of people are getting doubles a lot of people are getting added to schedules like I like I said I've been only working four days which is fine, but now I'm working five because, like, they, certain people need a, one day off, at least. And I'm, luckily enough, I've got two. Well, not this week, because technically um, I'm going out tomorrow for, st or doing stuff tomorrow, I mean. But, uh, yeah. So, um, a couple things. Uh, first, dancing. Now, technically, I'm just finishing Monday's episode because, like I said, um, I didn't, I've been working and actually I didn't get a chance to watch it because uh, or all of it because well right when it comes on it's like around when we're getting ready to eat so I only get to watch maybe one or two dances before I go downstairs to eat and then Tuesday I was working so I didn't get to see nothing but I do know who got out Vanilla Ice and Babyface and while Babyface's was okay I didn't really I mean see what went wrong and I wish we could see like the rehearsal video sometimes Vanilla Ice, I just got done watching, it was pretty good, but it's like, so, because this was a dumb elimination, it was kind of shocking that he got out, but I mean, like, I still have, like, one more, one more dance to watch before, because I just got, um, I think it's Mary Lou Henner, or, um, it's the one with Derek, but we, I just heard, um, Carrie Ann just say, or Bruno just say, um, uh, that Vanilla Ice was doing, I mean, I mean, like, Save the scissor hands for next week. Well, technically he won't be here next week, but we finally got the Halloween episode coming up. And I do promise I will try to do a video in the morning, Tuesday morning, and I will make sh or Tuesday, early Tuesday so I can give you my reactions. Please, you gotta realize Disney week and Halloween week is the main weeks I'm always gonna try to do a video for. And ironically, um, one of my challenge things for like the the group's called New Royalty, and actually, it was, like, the children of, like, the Disney characters. Now, I don't mean, like, what my other thing was. That's actually different. Um, that's, like, an OC I created with the model. This one is already pre-planned parents, at least. Which worked out in my favor, because we got a, uh, our Halloween challenge, and I got a clown, and this, week, and this was on Monday. So, it was, like, Cirque du Soleil, clown. So I was actually worried about that, but it's like now I'm actually thrilled and I'm actually trying to work on it as we speak. I'm actually taking a break so I don't go crazy. Because <laughs> it's like there's a lot, the outfit I got, it's like there's a lot of certain details I gotta do drag and drops with. But anyway, um, the next thing we're gonna talk about is the Pokemon. Obviously, um, we finally got our, um, we can do, the Z move things can actually give us also our Mega Evolution, so. Being someone who didn't get to play X and Y, getting those Mega Evolutions are gonna be really. Ha I'm gonna be really happy. Now I'm uh, either next week or sometime this month. I'm gonna be getting my um, 2DS, 3DS. 
because I think I'm just gonna buy it in person like cause, and I've got two maybe three days to possibly do this because um and the, but the hard part is I gotta um, borrow money for this because depending on where I'm getting it from they don't take checks and that's how I get my bigger amounts of money done it just depends on what I do because Thursday I mean, next couple Thursdays is gonna be pretty much pop if I'm when I'm getting it. if I don't get it one of those three Thursdays then I'm probably gonna be getting it online very very soon so but it's like I gotta make sure I get the right thing I'm getting it for a good deal and etc. So I actually have to relook at Amazon again b before tomorrow. Tomorrow's the first day I could possibly be getting my new 3DS, 2DS thing. Because I'm not getting the 3DS part. I do not like 3D. I wear glasses. So unless you got those big ones that you put over, like that they are starting to wear now for all movie theaters. Mainly bef when it, before the, I saw them common in movie theaters, it was just um, Sh um, Navy Pier in Chicago for their special stuff. It's like I never saw them before that. It's always like the weird uh, plastic things that I have to put in front or behind my glasses and it's always a headache. Um, so let alone having it be like that on a game, it, I trust me, I saw how it looks when I was they were first coming out. It's like, I got a headache. So pretty much um, we got our new evolutions or starter revolutions and honestly I might actually switch to being using Poplio as my first starter and then Litten and then Rowlet. It's like I might actually because of this because uh I was not expecting this I mean we've been seeing like these like teaser things that possibly could be the next evolution or the final evolutions for these starters and one looks like a wrestler one looks like a mermaid and one looks like Robin Hood but with the thing about these second evolutions, it's like you never know really what you're gonna get. I mean, like, Liddens actually looks like it could be the wrestler thing because it's got this thing on its neck that looks like it'll probably be its belt in the spinal if it is this. Um, Rowlet looks nothing close to what it could possibly be. It looks more like a surfer dude or like, or maybe one of those uh, vain people that, I mean, that they look like fashion mo- I'm gonna try to look like fashion models and it's just like, Either that or he's just like really a surfer dude. And Lynn, I actually, or not Lynn, um, Poplio's evolution, I really love. So it's like, I really hope that Poplio is a female. Because usually they have one female out of all stars. Like, I think Chikorita was the female in the gold and silver when I first was playing it. I don't remember what red, blue, or yellow was. Um, actually, I really don't remember what it was in uh, the rest of the games. I just remember gold because that was what I played when I first played it. And Chikorita was female, while the other two were male, which was fine. The way they ended up looking in the end is like Toadile and Cyndaquil definitely needed to be male. Because I honestly will pick, when I pick a thing, it's like I might actually prefer a certain gender for my thing because of how it looks. And I mean, I know that's stereotyping, but it's like, honestly, that's how I just do stuff. It's like, I'd rather have a female mis mischievous, um than a male one, or a female purloin than a male one, or and or a male little pup than a female one. Cause I mean, you gotta realize that only certain genders had certain details different, or a completely different style. Like um, pheasant, um, uh, the lion one or pyroar. And there was maybe a couple others, but it's like certain ones actually did have only a diff one difference detail. Now the thing is, um, I'm hoping maybe to get the Pokedex or the game thing, but I'm hoping maybe it's in both. But the thing is, if they do this Pokedex like they did when the other one, like where it was just small and it was actually with the X and Y uh, manual, I don't, I'd rather have a big book. That's what I always liked, the big books. If you're trying to go smaller is better, it's like that is not true. Maybe in technology, but not with your guides and manuals. But um, I actually really like Poplio's out of all three, and then Liddens, and then Rowlet's. So, as of right now, that's going to be my starter choices, because I am going to play it at least three times, depending on how the first time went. And if the first time was okay, I might, I'm might i going to try second, I'm mean, with one more time with Lynn, and if that was okay, then I'm going to go with Rowlet. It's just which one stands out the most. 
Now, the fact that we aren't getting gym leaders still is kind of disappointing for me, but what we've gotten in return has been pretty good. But it's still not going to make up for the fact of gym leaders, so I hope they, re they bring them back for the next game. Um, I'm still getting Pokemon Moon, that's the only- and I've already pre-ordered it, so I gotta double check make sure I didn't cancel it again. Um, cause I haven't checked in in a month. Um, we are getting Puppeteer this week, and now I'm going on something else. We're getting Puppeteer from, um, Miraculous Laybug, and I mean, I kinda know what happens. And, honestly, now I'm kinda seeing something. Now, some people compare Mar um, Miraculous Ladybug to Sailor Moon. Like, character-wise, like, they've got the protagonist female, the protagonist male, um, their alter egos, the best friend, which in this case, Alia, and then the little girl, and it's like, okay, so what about everybody else? I mean, remember, Sailor Moon had more members of the team. And then Tiki and Plague are obviously Luna and Artemis in this case, but it's like, I kind of can see it and I kind of don't. Now, I actually finally decided to, um... Now, I did make it my own OC, like, just from, as me kind of thing, but now I'm finally making, like, the other seven, and it's going to be, like, an Americanized version. Now, I know a lot of people are probably doing, like, wherever their country is, or they are still keeping it in France, but I'd rather do something with my own country, because as much as I like France, it's just that I'd rather them go to France to in interact with the Paris uh, miraculous or the European. I kind of think that these guys were European because if there's an episode that I haven't seen yet but technically is kind of makes sense they like past ladybugs they have ones in one from Egypt, one from Japan or China, one from Greece or Rome because it um and then one from another native country probably also in Africa I think maybe um so it pretty much is like, I can't wait to see what they do. So I did mine, and it's like my first, my main one, which was my me kind of thing, was um, a raven. Uh, and it's like I actually put them where they control, I mean, like keep an eye on certain states, but there's only may maybe one or two major cities in one state that, they, that really has the Akumas. I'm not sure if I'm going to still use the word Akuma for the American ones because it's like, I don't, because Hawk Moth is technically a miraculous holder, it's like, I don't want, and I'm not doing that with my characters, where it's like, any someone's a miraculous holder, I'm gonna make it where it's like another type of villain that has a similar power. I haven't figured that out yet, but I chose, besides, obviously, my raven. And I'm actually gonna be changing a little bit of the personality, because I forgot about what the raven personality is like. Because mainly I was gonna make her all serious, and her little... Kwame's like a, a little adorable bundle of emo. <laughs> I'm g still gonna I'm gonna change the holder's personality a little bit, but not maybe the um Kwame. But I've got a seahorse, a horse, a white horse, a brown rabbit uh, as my lucky one. So she's like the good luck, while the raven's the bad luck. Um, well, who else do I have? A dragonfly, a hmm, that's. Okay, and then that's five. Where are the other two? Um, uh, hold on, I can't figure it out. Um, oh, a snake, because I was, because actually originally the creators actually were going to do a snake, at, um, and the miraculous accessory was a bracelet, and I'm going to kind of go off of that style a little, but it's not going to be exactly, because they only have like a rough draft picture. And it's like I had to figure out certain things, and then I don't remember what my sixth or seventh one was. Um, oh, wolf! It was a gray wolf. Um, so those were are the Kwame animals or creatures I'm gonna be using. But I still haven't done certain things other than like an accessory or and or possibly a weapon. Um, let's see what else. Uh, Flash start started yesterday, but I haven't gotten a chance to watch it. But I did see a preview for the next week's one, and Draco Malfoy is in it. Not actually Draco Malfoy, but the actor who played him. He was on this TNT show for a while, I know, because I was, was watching a lot of TNT for a while. So it's like I ended up seeing like a lot of his previews for his show for a while. But um, now he's on this. I think his series is either done, or he's just guest starring, or something. Um, so I haven't really watched that much, and then, um, actually I have a lot to catch up on because this whole weekend was nuts, and then this week is nuts, 
so I haven't had a chance to really catch up on anything. And doing, but doing this yard work is actually pretty good because this will save time when spring comes. Um, I'm just trying to figure out what else I have to say. Um, mainly it was just because of the whole Halloween thing with Dance with Stars first, and then it kind of snowballed from there. Um, uh, I guess that's it because I mean, like, mainly it's just oh. R I got to see the RWBY um, trailer, like the little short, and my oh my, I cannot wait for it to start at the close to the end of October. Yeah, it's like I been I actually almost forgot about it because it's like it's been so long. And it's like ever after everything that's happened in the past year, it's like I don't blame them for taking a while. But I mean, actually, it didn't take too too long. I think it. W we were done maybe close to the I mean, end of spring, like before summer would have started. So it, the fact that we got that and we've had only a couple of months and they're already done, it's like they must have been pre-playing while they had episode season three going. Um, I haven't gotten season three on DVD yet, but I will be getting it fairly soon. Um, I'm, like I said, I'm going to be doing stuff tomorrow where I'm going to be able to look at stuff. And I just realized my mom still hasn't given me back my checkbook that she had to borrow for certain things. So yeah, um, that's about it. That's in all, all my updates. Right now, it's like mainly I got house some housework slash yard work. And it's like we're kind of making progress, but we still got like two more ro major rooms and one more minor room being my room that has to be fixed up. And we're, st well, two and a half ma major rooms because we still have the half of this. Um, my, the group challenges I, I'm in, as well as my group challenge, which actually starts this week, I'm doing two Halloween things where, um, so if any of you guys are in my, in my group challenge, uh, and are actually going to be watching this, I'm doing a masquerade, and then doing superheroes, if you, so if you are watching this, heck, you're going to be getting a sneak peek of what the heck we're doing, and it's like, the fact that it took me a day and a half to get, or maybe even just a day to get all those masks because I even though some of my models haven't been picked and it's like anyone that's not picked I, you can have two people sharing it now not that any of them that are already available I mean been taken because it's like that's not fair to them but the ones that are still available and I picked found 30 masks and I own three of them that I made an outfit example for um and I did all three so that's saying something the fact that uh, I got that all done within a day, maybe a day and a half, um, finding out wise and making a journal, getting all the pictures, and all my pictures usually come from Pinterest, Google, or I mean, Google Images or Bing Images, um, maybe or the occasional um, random thing or and Baker Square. I've got way future challenge that's like I was in at Baker Square and I took pictures of the flip book with their permission for the pies, and then I actually went online to look for the actual pictures. It's because it's like, you never get a good picture with a candle. But, uh, yeah. That's about, I mean, so it's like, I, the fact that I got that done very quickly, because, I mean, I did all of those things once I got the pictures, instantly. It's like, when I, before even the challenge started, because I like, I wanted to make sure I had the first 10 challenges pre-planned. Now I'm down to the first 11, technically 10 now, because round 1 st ends this Saturday, and round 2 starts this Saturday. Um, that's about it for me, so I'm going to leave it there. I hope that I'm not rambling too much, but I hope that you also enjoyed this. Uh, and I really wish I covered this shirt more. Um, because this isn't mine, this is my dad's from when he was a kid. Hey, sweetie. But yeah, I'm going to leave it here, and I hope you guys, uh, understood half of what I said. I'm going to be uploading this within the next few minutes because, I, like I said, i got to do yard work and I want, need to take a Tylenol. So, bye guys. Have a good day. This is Sally signing off and click like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys hopefully tomorrow. Maybe Friday. I highly doubt on Friday, so maybe even Sunday. That might be the next time you see me on YouTube.